Hey guys, Dr. Bergman here again at Rosemary Jones Chiropractic. This week we're going to show you some x-rays, uh, some real life x-rays. Last week we had talked about the phases of degeneration and, and how that can affect the nerve. And, and today we're going to look at the, at the x-rays and show you what it actually looks like when we take a picture of our patients uh, and, and talk about some of the symptoms that they've had as well. So first in a, in a normal x-ray, in a normal spine, what we want here is, th this, so this square here is the vertebra, and in between here, this dark space is the disc. So we've got vertebra, disc, vertebra, disc, vertebra, disc. So that's alternating segments all the way down through the spine. So what we want in the cervical curve is a nice smooth curvature in the neck here. So this curvature should measure 35 to 45 degrees, and it acts as a nice support for the head. It acts as a shock absorber when we have that curvature so that way the the pressure is is equally placed between the, the discs and the joints in the back here so when we start to lose that curvature it starts to go forward what happens is imagine holding a bowling ball like this it'd be pretty easy to do you can you can walk around like this but if you take that bowling ball and hold on to it and you start to straighten out your wrist pretty soon the muscles in the back of your arm are going to get pretty tired it's going to happen pretty quickly and that's the same thing that can happen in the neck when you start to lose that curvature is the weight of your head going forward causes a lot of pressure and tension on the muscles and the ligaments down through the neck as well as into the into the mid back now the next x-ray that we're going to look at is phase one of degeneration where we start to lose some of that space in between the disc and we start to lose some of that curvature so you can see this curvature here that curved line is the ideal. That's what we'd like it to be. And we start to see some straightening out of the curvature here. Now in any of these x-rays, we don't necessarily need to have symptoms to have this degeneration. And that, that's kind of the scary thing is that you can have a lot of this stuff without even knowing that it's there. So when we identify something like this, we want to figure out which one of these joints is immobile or restricted and get that moving better. Now, with some specific stretches and strengthening exercises, we can start to get some of that curvature back. We, we can regain that cervical curve if we can modify what you're doing at work. We can give you some exercises at home. This, this, can, be, this can be corrected here. Now, in the next phase of degeneration, in phase two of degeneration, that's where we start to see some of these bone spurs start to develop. That's where we talked about it. It looks flattened out and there's points coming off here. That's the bone spur. Now like I had said in the, in the previous week's video, you can see here this looks like a normal disc, this looks like a normal disc, but we start to get some degeneration. So that kind of shows you that it doesn't necessarily happen because you're getting older, because this is normal, this is more normal, and then it starts to degenerate. So again, we've got this, this curved line here is what we want, and now you can see this line that comes up. We're almost the mirror opposite of what we want. The curvature is almost flipped to exactly what we want. At this point, again, we don't have to have symptoms at this point, but typ typically we do. You can see headaches, neck pain, pain down in the arms, uh, all those types of things can be caused when we start to get degeneration in the cervical spine like that. Now the last phase, the third phase of degeneration, is something that we don't ever want to get to. That's, that's something that we don't want to see in the spine. Now you can see it's almost hard to even tell where the vertebra are and where the disc and vertebra are. These are pretty well fused together here. This person is going to have very limited range of motion in their neck. It's going to be hard for them to look up at the ceiling and down towards the floor. It's going to hard, be hard for them to look over their shoulder left and right. Um, not, a, not a good situation there. Now we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can do anything for them and, and, and sometimes we can. There, there's times where chiropractic care can help. Um, but we try to avoid to get to this situation at, at all costs. Once we get to this point, um, you know, we, we certainly try our best, but at times these people become surgical candidates. So we try to avoid that situation to begin with. So these are what x-rays look like uh, when we take them. That's, that's how we evaluate them and, and see what phase you are. We can identify where you are in that process and we can try to stop or slow that process from occurring. So just because you may not be having symptoms doesn't mean that you necessarily don't have any degeneration starting in your neck. Remember last week's video we talked about it happens over a long period of time, 5, 10, 20, 30 years. So it can happen when you notice that it's not, uh, 
when you're not necessarily noticing the symptoms, it could be because they're there for five to for five to ten years. So it, again, if you if you think you may have a degeneration in the spine, or you know anybody that does, share the video. If you've got any other specific questions, certainly get a hold of us, message us, leave a comment. Be happy to answer those. And appreciate you guys watching the video. And again, I'm Dr. Dave Bergman at Rosemary Jones Chiropractic.